Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I haven't done one in like two months. I haven't done one since like, I can't even remember. I think I haven't done one since February. Um, I haven't really been on here in like a really long time. I've just been, I don't really feel like doing videos and I've just been busy looking at colleges and studying for my SATs again and all that sort of stuff so I haven't really had time. Plus school is almost going to be done so I have to finish up all my school work. So it's a lot. Um, but I'm back. I have to do a really quick video and then I have to get back to doing my school stuff because I'm going to be done in like a couple weeks so I have to get everything done and graded and it's a lot. Um, so today's video is going to be sort of a collab video of last month's favorites video that I missed and this month's favorites video for April so March and April favorites uh, it's a lot of stuff because it's two months in one so let's get started so I'm gonna start with um, hair stuff I got new shampoo and conditioner um, I've seen these on like commercials all the time um, it's the L'Oreal Eversleek smoothing one this one's the commercial with JLo um, and I was really wanting it because in like the hotter months, like spring and summer, my hair gets really, really frizzy if I go outside and this sort of promises that if you use it, you'll have like temperature control of the hair, like if you go outside, it's not going to get frizzy. Um, it definitely smooths my hair, but I haven't really seen it do what it promises with like the heat. I've seen it do a little, like my hair doesn't get as frizzy, um, so maybe it's working, I don't know, but I really, really like them, so. Um, also, you saw in my video of my Clarisonic, of course this is going to be a favorite. It's absolutely amazing. It's helped my skin so, so much. Um, it doesn't break out as much. It's a lot smoother. It's not as more dead skin on my face. Um, and it's just really nice. So I really love it and I love the pattern. It's like a pink floral. This is definitely a favorite. Um, also, a couple things from Philosophy. I love the Purity Made Simple Cleanser. It's amazing. Uh, it's just simple. It's nice. It smells good. It removes all my makeup that I've missed with a wipe. Um, it's just really good and I really recommend this and I would probably maybe purchase it again. I say maybe because it is kind of expensive. Um, so yeah. And of course I love this Beach Party. It's the 3-in-1 Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath. And it's um, Beach Party, which smells really good. It's like a cool auto smell. Um, so I really love these. I've had the Christmas one, which I, I don't really like the smell, but I just liked it because it was sort of a Christmas themed one. Um, I definitely would purchase more of these. I just like them because they're so, they smell so good. And the smell doesn't really linger on you. So if you want to put like a um, fragrance body lotion, you don't have that. Plus the shower gel that smells. So... I really love the other skincare things. I have this Philosophy Hope in a Jar moisturizer, which came in the pack with all the other Philosophy stuff with my Clarisonic. And it's just a nice moisturizer. Um, it really moisturizes good because it is a lot thicker of a moisturizer. I'm not sure if it's oil free because I saw a video that had the Hope in a Jar oil free, but this doesn't break me out or anything, so. It's really, really nice, and um, it's nicer for, like, winter months when your skin gets a little drier. And I got a new eye cream. I got the L'Oreal Ideal Skin Genesis Eye Cream. I really like the packaging. It's really, like, nice. Um, and you just sort of twist it, and it's like a gel. Um, I use it at night, maybe sometimes during the day. My eyes are really puffy. And it's nice. It's a little more moisturizing than the Garnier one I have, so... Um, it was really cheap too. I got it at TG Maxx for like six dollars because it was, you know, they have like the discounted skincare there and all their makeup, everything's discounted. Um, so yeah, I really um, like this. Last sort of skincare, personal care, whatever you want to call it, is the L'Oreal Lash Serum. I've got this like really, really long time ago. Um, and I didn't really use it. I mean, I used it, but I wouldn't use it every night or every day like you're supposed to. Um, I would use it maybe like once a week or something. And then I started using it every night, and I really saw a difference in my lashes. They were a lot. They just, like, when I put mascara on, I just noticed that they were a lot longer, a lot thicker, a lot healthier. They weren't falling out as much. So 
Um, I really like this and I would definitely recommend it. I think it's only like nine or ten dollars, so really good. Um, next is this new perfume that I got that I love. Um, it's the Peace Love and Juicy Couture perfume. It's really small because perfumes are just so expensive and I really can't purchase like a really expensive bottle of perfume, especially if I don't know what it smells like because I couldn't open it, they didn't have the tester. Um, but I just heard a lot about this perfume, like people really liked it, so I got it. And it smells so good, it's like, it's a nice perfume for like summer and spring, so I really like it. I probably will purchase a bigger size later on. Um, but perfumes are just so expensive, it's like, mm. Alright, so I have a couple nail polishes and then I'll get into the makeup. I got, ever since they've been carrying Essie polishes at like Walgreens and stuff, that's like all I buy. Um, so I got Essie Fiji, which I'm not sure if I featured in a favorites before. I don't think I did. But it's just a nice, like, milky, baby pink. And then I got, um, San Tropez, which was from their last collection. It was called French Affair. Just like a nice, like, um, it's like a nude. It's not like a peachy nude. It's just like a straight, like, brownish. Not as dark as jazz. A little lighter. Really good nude. This one from the Revlon Summer Collection is called Blue Lagoon, and it's like, that's it for polishes. Now I'll move on to makeup. I have one face, not one, one flake foundation sort of thing. Um, my cousin actually gave me this. She, like, was cleaning out her makeup, and it's the Cedia BB Cream. She, like, was the one who first introduced me to BB Creams. I had no idea what they were. Um, and it's sort of like has like a primer, SPF, and whitening. Whitening is for like if you have like um like acne scars or something that it's gonna lighten it and make it not as visible. And I really love BB creams. They're sort of like a tinted moisturizer but better. And they have SPF in them. This one's probably my favorite out of all the other ones that I have just because it covers better and it's not as white as some of the other ones that I have are. It matches my skin better. And it's just really good coverage, so I really like this one. And she also gave me the NYX concealer in a jar, which I love. I absolutely love this. It's in the color light. And um, I heard Dulce Candy talk about it. I really wanted to get it. There's really not a place where I can get NYX around me. It's of Ulta, but that's like 20 minutes away. Um, so I guess she got it and she didn't like it or it was too late for her, so she gave it to me and I love it great for blemishes, it's great for under the eye, and um, it just matches my skin really well. I also got a new blush. Um, I've been hearing about these a lot. It's the Hard Candy Fox in a Box blushes. I got the one in Skinny Dipping, which is like the orange and bronze color. I don't have an orange blush, so this was obviously the one I wanted to get. It's really, really nice, um, and it's just sort of like the benefit ones, but a lot cheaper, so these are really great. I also got a couple eyeshadows. The, I went to um, the dollar store with my mom, and I saw these Elf Stingle eyeshadows there, and I was like, whoa. So I obviously had to pick up a couple of them. I got the one in Wild Wheat which really isn't that pigmented, but it just looks so pretty in the pan. It's like a sparkly, neutrally tan color. It's really pretty. So I love this color. It's definitely not as pigmented as the other color I have, but it just looks so pretty. Um, and then I got this one called Pebble, which is like a dark, like, brown color. I don't know. Um, it's really pretty in the crease. I really love crease colors like this that are like the darker kind of colors. Um, so yeah. And also I got the new Wet n Wild 6 color, not 6, 8 color eyeshadow palette in Comfort Zone, which is the neutral one. They have a blue one and a purple one. And I got the neutral one, of course. So the colors are so pigmented. Um, I've used this so many times, I've let family members use it and they love it. Um, it's just really convenient and super pigmented and really cheap. I think it was only like 
Um, my cousin also gave me this Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow Primer, which I love. I thought I wasn't going to like it because I love my Urban Decay Primer Potion, but um, I gave this a try, and this probably works the same but better because it's cheaper as the Urban Decay. It makes my eyeshadows stay on all day and doesn't crease, and it's amazing, and I would totally recommend this. It feels the exact same as the Urban Decay one. It doesn't have, like, color to it. It's ma not matte. It's, like, you know, translucent. Doesn't, you can't see it once you blend it out, and it's just really, really good. I also got a new mascara. I got the Revlon Grow Lushes, and I know I'm sort of late getting this mascara. Um, so, yeah. I have it on now. Um, I like it. Probably wouldn't get it again. It's nothing amazing. It lengthens. It's good. But it's nothing that I feel I... Nothing really that... It's like, wow, you know? But it's, it's good for every day. It's a nice mascara. Um, lastly is all the products. Um, I got the Hard Candy Plumping Serum gloss and jellyfish which is a purple color. Um I thought it would be really pretty with like a nude look but it's nice, it's pretty but I definitely wouldn't get this color again. I like the baby pink color but I can never find it. It's always like gone so I got this one. I like it but I don't love it. Um couple other lip balms. I got this one by Revlon which is from their new summer collection. It's the Super Luscious Lip Balm. These are new. They've never had these before. It's in peach crystal and it's like a reddish um, reddish coral color. There's some shimmer in it and it's really cool because you've on the cap it has like hold on, a little lip brush that you can use. So that's really cool. They have two other colors but this one this looks the most unique to me. Um, then I got some lipstick. Oh wait, hold on, one more thing. I have this NYX Lip Lacquer Pot in Georgia Peach that I love. It's like a milky, pinky nude. And it's really opaque, and it's just like a nice little lip balm. Um, then I got a couple lipsticks. I got this one by Hard Candy called Fire Alarm, which I heard about from Michelle Toad 18 in one of her videos. It's like one of the best nudes I've ever tried from the drugstore. It's probably like my favorite nude now besides Creme de Nude from MAC. So this one is awesome. And then I got this one from Marvon called Pink Pouts, the matte one. It's very hard to wear for me. I like sort of have to find a way to wear this. It's like a nice like um, purpley pinky color really pretty and um it's really pretty but it's just really hard for me to wear it. it's so pigmented and if I find a way to wear it I'll probably love it better and um lastly out of all the stuff um I have the can make lip concealer that my cousin also gave me um it's sort of like a concealer for your lips to lighten your lips and it's just really convenient because I would always dab concealer on my lips to lighten them and now I finally have something that's for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video for um, March and April and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.